Hi, I'm Jenny Connor, an early childhood educator from Tasmania, and I'm here with Carmel. Hello, I'm Carmel Richardson, and I'm an early childhood educator from Canberra. Well, thank you, Carmel. So far, we've been talking a lot about interest-led programs, children's interests leading the program, but educators also have plans and intentions. Can, can you give us an example of um, how your staff, how the educators go about? Mm -hmm. I think we, we often talk about the fact that an engaging program should come from children's interests. But this doesn't always mean exclusively just doing what children want to do. Mm. I think it means being very thoughtful and astute in the observations mm. that you make with children as you're interacting with them and getting to know what they're interested in. And then trying to thoughtfully pick up on something that you can see possibilities for working with. So it might be that the children have shown an interest in the outdoor environment. In fact, we recently, um, well, it's an ongoing program, I think, with our outdoor environment. We do have a very beautiful outdoor environment. And the children were just asking lots of questions. It was, you know, it was autumn. There were lots of spiders and webs and, and the shadows were changing in length and there was dew on the grass and they couldn't quite work out wh where that had come from seeing it hadn't rained and so all of these questions really uh, showed great interest on the behalf of the children but that supported the educators to start planning making those intentional decisions about what they would do with that so they started doing some research around some of the things that they might do with the children linked to the children's interest in the environment so it is interest based but that, that was a sort of a long-term plan and there are also those moments where there's a spontaneous interest that needs immediate follow-up. And they provide lots of opportunities throughout the day for short, sp spontaneous and, and meaningful and authentic interactions with children based on the interest shown in the moment. The little clip we have, which is about a kind of balloon rocket activity, I believe that started with a child's interest but then it went in very interesting directions and mm -hmm. the educator was able to interpret that learning. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about what was going on in, in learning terms? Mm -hmm. Well, there were balloons at the centre on a particular day because another educator, there were several student teachers there on the day, was planning to blow up some balloons and to make some paper mache shapes uh, with the balloon as the foundation for that paper mache shape. Another child there saw the balloons and it reminded him uh, of something he'd seen on play school, I believe, to do with balloon rockets. So he talked to an educator about um, replicating that experiment within the centre. So it was a spontaneous event provoked by the resources that were available. Uh, and the educator was able to then use that uh, as an opportunity for uh, intentional engagement with the children. So his intentions weren't to, t to teach the children anything particular about physics, if you like, mm. but it was to engage the children in theory making, mm. in uh, experimenting, in using their imagination. And you could extend, you know, if you looked, or when you look at this particular uh, event, this video, you'll see that there's lots of things happening. You can see the children, again, from a socio-cultural perspective, in interaction with each other. Mm. You can see them uh, using language skills. You can see them hypothesizing what might happen next. In fact, I think there's a few occasions where you might see children with hands over their ears because, ears because they're anticipating there might be a loud noise because they're drawing on prior knowledge. They've been to birthday parties. They know balloons sometimes explode. So they're, they're drawing on those prior experiences to it, inform the, um, what they're experiencing in the moment. And what's documented? What would I noticed someone was making some notes mm -hmm. there. What would be written down so that it could be the basis for some more extended and challenging and mm -hmm. thoughtful learning? Like lots of early childhood educators, we use digital cameras a lot in our documentation process. The children are quite uh, comfortable with us taking photos, and in fact, the children take a lot of the photos themselves. Um, we um, might also write down some of the questions that are being asked mm. at that particular time and these questions themselves become fodder for the next part of that program development. So a child might ask a question about, well, how 
big can we blow up this balloon before it bursts or um, how long can we make the string and, and those particular questions may not be able to be addressed at that particular time because you know, we have our routines and, mm. and, and the time may have run out or someone else might have arrived, arrived in the room to change the dynamic of that interaction. But those questions then can be extended upon and used at a later date um, for further programming. It's got a hole in the bottom. We can put some together, right? Might fix them. Uh, yeah, Aha! Oh no. <laughs> Whoa. Let's do it again. Hi, sir. Yes, Emma. That's my balloon. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, this one. Throw it up. Get it big. Keep lagging, keep lagging, keep going, keep lagging, keep going. Aha! Ready, 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 ready? Are you trying? Yes. Yeah. Okay, just let go with your fingers, okay? Ready? Ah! ah. Okay. I was doing which. In place, Cooley Doo did that on the TV. They did that. They did that. What did they do? They just floated ah. and then did this. No. On purpose, but it popped. We shouldn't do this. No, don't, we don't, don't. We didn't need this. In place, we didn't did this. Oh, what did they do on Facebook? Place on TV didn't did this. Yeah. Well, what did they do? They just blow it and get some string and put the tape here. That was the dead. It wasn't actually because I blew it really hard, it was actually because I'm just sick of that was on it in the wrong spot. Ah.